This is gonna be a case study breakdown of how we achieve a 5X return on ad spend. And we did this only on one single access channel, running ads across Meta. Now, hearing that number, right? Hearing that 5X ROAS, you might be thinking, yeah, this guy's lying. This guy's a liar. Doesn't mean what he says. But we onboarded this apparel company, say over, give or take 90 days. And in those 90 days, some context for you guys is Q4, seasonality push, consumer behavior was through the roof, of course, as you can see from data and then as a byproduct as well we were able to spend hundred thousand dollars in ad spend and we generated 5x return on ad spend and you, that's backed by triple old data this is not facebook attribution this is solely triple old data now we did this without working with any agencies we brought operations internally in-house the structure was pretty simple our campaign structure followed and broad evergreen bundle that was going to run year-round that's that evergreen sector uh budget was set at the campaign level via cbo we created test with DCTs and then that was more of our evergreen offer like I said before this was running year round and we mainly just focus on areas outside of the mini buying structure which is like better creatives better landing pages better offers we get a buy two get one free offer and then we had an offer stack of buy four get two free right and that was the campaign that got majority of the spin now vice versa we went to a seasonality push right certain SKUs with this brand had healthy margins gross margin over 75 percent and we pushed those products for that Q4 time of year for that seasonality push as it it was the winter time, right? Products in the winter time, you're gonna get majority of sales in the United States during that Q4 period. Now, I'm not saying to stroke my ego that we are the reason that this brand was seeing the numbers they saw, far from it, right? There's so many areas outside of the business that help us coming into companies that we consult to scale pretty hard, right? If a brand has market fit, if a brand has a community, and if a brand has social proof, it is far more easier for us to come in and hit these numbers that we hit rather than if it's a bootstrap company, right? Budget's limited, they don't have any validation of market fit yet or they haven't been around for longer than five years, right? Then that takes more grunt work, it takes more time. And ultimately, who knows if you'll even see those numbers because it really depends on your product market fit. Each brand is different and the results for each brand requires different strategies. But I say this to say, we came in, we didn't work with any agencies, one channel spent $100,000 in ad spend and we we're able to see a return of over 600,000 just from all of our campaign structures. Now, the roadmap or the fundamentals of, okay, if I am a founder, I'm listening to this content, how can I implement this for my brand is, you need to have market fit and it's crafting a campaign structure easy for you to analyze, right? And nine, uh, times and time again, I see agencies who manage these ad accounts because I audit these brands or these founders. I see agencies that have 10, 20, 30 different structures as far as campaign structure. And when you look into the ad account, you can't even diagnose what's happening, right? You see different SKUs across different campaigns, different, uh, there's no efficient creative testing structure. You see different offers at different price points and there's just a lack of coherent strategy. A lot of time these agencies are just throwing random stuff at the wall hoping it sticks rather with us our methodology following our protocol is we're like a sniper we're trained to have limited ammo but when we shoot we get closer and closer to the target so it's crafting bundles crafting offers that can crack north of 75 percent gross margin right that's how we're able to scale that's how we're able to acquire first order profit on the front end simultaneously looking at areas of ways to improve ltv this could be building a community this could be uh, ultimately optimizing back an email and SMS. This could be consistent collection drops, getting people to want to buy back from your business when they get access to unique designs, maybe building a VIP list, building a Facebook community as well. As I mentioned before, like these are all areas outside of the business that's going to boost your LTV. And then when you couple that with having a high AOV bundle and you have down to offers with entry level bundles, right? To fuel that growth, you have top of funnel traffic coming in, top of funnel customers coming into your ecosystem with Facebook. And then simultaneously, when you have consistent collection drops and you have that community element to it you have that vip email list you're taking the same people that have entered your ecosystem from meta and you're getting them to buy back from your business at a one to six ratio or one to three ratio depending on what your average aov is on the back end and then you have the cash flow you have the flexibility to not diversify across other channels right the way i look at my tech stack is meta for top of funnel growth google free targeting and then some third channel might be tiktok it might be youtube ads to continually find top of funnel traffic but that is the split for us we scale with ease with simplification we go fully broad at the cbo level validate offers fix the bottlenecks within the funnel once we have a winner with that single skew we're going to go up the vertical so now we might do abo manual testing we might do uh interest-based targeting we might do lookalikes we might retarget customers it really depends but we're trying to extrapolate as much value once we craft that winner on a broad spectrum to just maintain efficiency and then simultaneously we're also scaling horizontally within the funnel we're testing different hero product SKUs. we're collecting we're testing different bundles we're troubleshooting the whole entire 
entire funnel, right? We might be creative testing heavy, or we might be AB testing landing pages, or we might be split testing offers, right? These actions are going to do more for your business rather than actually any other ABO manual testing strategy or any media buying geek tactic. I say this to say, because the first thing we do is like I said before, we lay a broad campaign and we're trying to validate the funnel. Once that is working, once we have proof of concept, then we go up the vertical, then we do ABO testing because it just makes sense logically. But first, our main area of focus is create or testing in a controlled environment. So this is like creative testing with DCTs. Everything is in a controlled environment. AB testing campaigns with landing pages, right? Everything's in a controlled environment. The only variable change is that landing page or it's an offer. We follow the scientific method. We're only changing one variable at a time. As I said before, this circles back to the main point of we are literally snipers trained to shoot and trained to hit 100% accuracy because the closer we test, the more and more we do test, the likelihood of finding that successful funnel is increasing every single test. Rather, you hire an agency, they don't know what's happening, they're testing different random objectives, and they're not getting closer to their goal. Whereas with us, like I said, we are snipers trained for efficiency. Every ad dollar matters, every ad dollar counts, and this is why we see results that we do. This is why we're able to spend $100,000 and get a, a 5x return on ad spend. We keep the process simple, we analyze data, we make hypotheses based off this data, and we're focusing on objectives outside of the funnel to now make paid ads profitable. This is creatives, landing pages, offers. This is building a community. This is collection drops. This is uh, back-end offers. This is VIP access, right? These are the areas that are gonna move the needle for your business. And this is what separates a brand that can go from a one-to-one -one break even threshold to a one-to-three ratio to now for one customer, you're getting six X return on value or you're getting for one single customer, you're getting five X return in just total value, right? This is how we're able to achieve the success we do. You don't need to hire an agency. You don't need to outsource to your whole department. This can be done fully in-house. This is what we did with that recent brand, that apparel brand. We literally have operations in-house. Everything is lean boutique and we're consistently innovating, consistently testing up the vertical and horizontally. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found some sort of value. If you're interested in doing or replicating these results for your own e-com brand, feel free to book in a call below and also check out scalevelocity.io where I have my exact protocol necessary so that you can replicate these results without relying on any agency so that you can build in-house for and potential exit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.